We're having a look today at Tiger's Cup. Charlie Woods' swing. What an absolutely lovely action it is. So we're going to go detailed analysis, see what he does well, see if there's elements of Tiger in there. Let's have a look. So it's set up. Tiger's obviously done a brilliant job here, really harped onto Charlie about the importance of setup, neutral grip. He's weakened that off in the past couple of years. He was a little bit stronger there. Neutral with the right hand. Nice bit of foot flare, which will help rotate around his hip joints. That's great. His arms hang naturally, just a little bit in front of his shoulder joint. Love that. A little bit of knee flex. Nice upright spine, nice and neutral. Love all that. So really good fundamentals there from Charlie. Let's have a look as he takes the club back. So we'll have a look on the right hand side first. So watch, he'll get a little bit of a bump to that right side if you watch the hips. You see that, just that little bit of bump. Watch that, that right hip. Let's try and draw a line there. Just a subtle little bump if you can see that just before it starts to wind up. So it's that little lateral shift to the right initially. Really wide with those hands far away from his midline. Let's have a look from down the line. So nice and wide, a little bit of a bump. His club shaft is out in front of the hands. Face is nice and square, parallel to his back line. Love that position. Better than most tall players, if I'm honest. Really classic looking takeaway there. Nice and wide, like I said. Love that. What we'll see now as he starts to wind up, that right pocket's going to move back. So the hips go move back and then move that right pocket back. So watch that hip now. It'll, can you see how it starts to move back? He's really loading into that trail glute. We'll bring him up to the same position here. Starts to work that right pocket back. Get a little bit of wrist set there. Love that position. Now we can't quite see the club position on. Let me just try and zoom out to see if we can see. Can't quite see that club position on here, unfortunately. But I can assume, I'll show you, it's pretty neutral. In the past, it's been a little bit closed, but he's worked on that as he's got stronger. Love that position. Look at all the, the, um, the, the shirt there. Can you see all those creases in the fabric as he's winding up? Love that. I mean, let's get him up to the top. You'll start to see a little bit of drop there. Watch, watch the center. So his thorax here. Just see, can you see how it just drops? Just drops slightly as he's loading into the ground, into that trail glute, into that trail foot. Really load in there. Look at that wind up. Look at all that coil through the midline. Love that. Let's bring it up down the line. We've got a really nice neutral sort of club face there. In the past, it's been quite short, but as he's got stronger, he's been able to sort of neutralize that. That arm, right arm, is in a really nice position. I love that. You'd say maybe across the line a touch, but nothing too much. You know, he recovers really well from that. I love that top of the backswing position. So let's start him down as all good players talked about in the past with some of these analysis is this transition moves really important watch there look that left knee is the first thing to move then that those hips move then the thorax then the arms then finally the club so watch left knee goes first watch that left knee then the hips start to rotate see that move and then finally that rib cage is going to move into that lead arm and create a lot of like, can you see that? That real sort of compression down into the ground. You're also going to see that as that left knee moves out, that pelvis is going to move down. That rib cage is going to move down. See that really compressed. So it's not only rotating that way, it's also rotating down, compressing the ground that allows him to push back up to create some tremendous speed. If you look at some of the ball speeds he's creating for a young man, Phenomenal, really phenomenal. As he grows in stature, grows, and, you know, gets gets in the gym, puts a little bit of muscle on, that speed's going to really ramp up. And you see from down the line, really that squat, that power move. You can see those knees are moving. That left knee moves towards the target. Right knee moves in towards the left. What a lovely position he's in there. 
that right arm's nicely going to get in front of his body there i love that position club face would probably say is nice and strong there pointing up to the sky so he can afford to really hammer that rotation look at that i mean the camera angle's a little bit blurry but you can see how he's retaining that lag there really really powerful move and then what he's going to do he's going to get down look at that look how much he drives that right knee to the target a la tiger in 2000 and then because we've seen that drive down then he's got that watch this left foot he's going to go boom up in the air what's happening is because he's drove down into the ground ground's going to push him back up and he's going to push that way really with that foot look how it kicks back away from the ball really whipping the hips through whipping the arms and the chest through creates a load of speed really powerful it's a move you'll see in a look at any long driver look at kyle berkshire look at um, bryson de chambeau tiger in 2000 they've all got this left kick move where that left foot's really moving back just because they're pushing the ground that way pushes them back pushes that hip back and it really creates a nice whip through the ball and look at that finish mcelroy-esque holds that balance and we'll see just from down the line he's going to start now pushing up through the ground look at that club face really stable position there not a lot of flip love that that motion i mean he keeps keeps working hard at his game it's just such a solid motion i mean compared to most guys on tour it's just really it's really solid um i can't get over how good this motion is for you young man really really quality action you'll see as he gets a rotation there that knee drives in and then he's just that those hands are exiting lower than his shoulder rory-esque i've done another video on the channel with comparing it to rory in that position is frighteningly similar and then all the way to his finish where he just sticks that finish look at that finish i mean that's tiger rory at his prime club shaft fully rotated round up nice and tall loads of rotation i just love this action really solid swing he's done i mean if your dad's tiger woods like you've got pretty good genetics but phenomenal absolutely phenomenal swing